until very recently, documents created in a web app were limited to just a very few fonts. The limitation was that you didn't know what fonts people had on their computer, so the web app developers had to limit you to fonts they knew that would be on pretty much any computer in the world. Google's changed all that with something they call web fonts, and I'm going to show you how to change a web font in this short little video. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll highlight the text that we want to change the font for, and just as you would in any font, come up under the font picker here, and as you look down through my list, you'll see I've got some interesting fonts here, and I'm going to show you how to add those. So as you go down, we'll come down to the bottom of the list, and you'll notice that there's an Add Fonts button. If I click on that, I have a window pop up, and that window looks like this, the Add Fonts window. And from this, you can scroll down the list, and anytime you see a font that you think you would like, just check it and that will be added to the list over on the right hand side. So again, just scroll down the font list and anytime you see a font, you just check it. And you'll notice as soon as I check it, it turns blue and it stays there on your list until you want to get rid of it. So if I decide that I really don't want Chango 1 anymore, I'll click that and that will remove it from the list for me over here. The other thing that I want you to know is that as you the list is long. There are a lot of fonts. And as you start to approach the bottom of the list, you'll notice that the scroll bar, bar pops up a little higher and it just keeps adding and adding. So you can keep going down. Don't think that you've hit the bottom. Keep scrolling down, 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 and see how it pops back up again and there's yet more that you can use and keep adding. When you're done, you just click OK. Now we can come back to our list and there's that cabin sketch font that I changed and now my font is in cabin sketch maybe I'll change that to 18 so you can see it a little bit better and there you go I've been able to use web fonts